Hi, I'm Ray French, Director of Research and Development for Front Range Biosciences. While hemp is a unique crop, there are many things it has in common with other agronomic crops. These considerations need to be made before you plant your crop. The first thing is determine your soil type. The easiest way to first determine your soil type is to grab a handful of soil and, and make it into uh, kind of a ribbon, more like a, more like a ribbon than a ball. And as, it, as you squish it out, you'll start to see whether it begins to crumble or, and fall apart or whether it becomes like a smooth ball of clay. And that's a very simple way to look at it. Another thing that's very important to know before you plant is your soil's pH. Is there presence of heavy metals? Are there things in your soil that you need to correct before you plant? And those can all be done by a simple soil sample that's submitted to a local testing lab or an international lab. Then it's important, just like with your soil, to get your water tested. Again, you're testing for pH, for heavy metals, and things that you may need to adjust to get your water in the right range for hemp. You need to develop a crop plan. This can include your row spacing, your spacing between the plants, your irrigation plan, and your weed control plan. Some farmers in regions that are drier will go on a tighter spacing as close as uh, four hemp, four foot by four foot. Uh, some farmers prefer to go a little bit more open spacing to five foot by five foot. And in growers with very long seasons that plan on having an early planting crop, they can go even further apart than that. When you're plant spacing and you use the plastic mulch, that will save you money from having to hand weed later. You can cultivate with the machinery in between the rows when the plants are young, but actually pulling the weeds around the bases of the plants can be very time consuming and expensive. And that is one of your major savings and advantages also for using a plastic mulch. The other thing that's important is understanding basic soil conservation techniques. The USDA website has lots of information on soil conservation, but the most important rule of thumb is if you have sloping land, then you should contour your beds and your crop layout to conserve water so you don't have your rows running straight downhill and instead they're in terraces that follow the shape of the hill down. You need to have a harvest plan and you need to have a marketing plan. This will determine where you're gonna sell your crop. These are all the things that you need to do before planting your hemp crop. 